want you to read this. I want you to read this. All right, you see it? Y'all going to help me read it? Can y'all see it, young people? Y'all help me read? Okay. All right, what does it say? Whatever your hands find to do, come on, do it with all your might. For in the realm of the dead. Thank you all for standing for the word. We, re we are reading the word. Stand. Thank you. You are going there. Is it work or planning or knowledge, nor wisdom. Uh-huh. The race is not to the swift. Come on. No battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise, nor wealth to the brilliant, nor favor to the learned, but time and chance to all, right? The hour will come as All right. Good. Uh huh. All right, so I. Seventeen. Last verse. All right, God bless you. You may be seated. I want just for a thought back in that ninth verse where this is the words of Solomon. Solomon. Who, who was Solomon? David's son. And he's also known for what? Wisdom. He was the wisest man. All right. But I want you to take this. I want you to look at this. I will turn us all on the sun. That the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. In other words, what I want you all to think about today, and it's kind of piggybacking off what Dejan said, I want you all to think about finishing strong. Say finish strong. Finish strong. Don't let the inequalities of life keep you from your earnest dedication, your dedicated work. Keep working. Keep working and remember that it is God that we're serving. It is God that is serving and it is God that will help you. How many y'all know how to pray, young people? My, my message for the young people, y'all know how to pray? Y'all know how to pray? Don't be afraid to pray. Don't be afraid to pray. You talk to God. And guess what? He hear you. He hear you. Just like you talk to your friend, just like you talk to your loved ones, your parents, your, your whoever, your classmates, the teacher, you can talk to God and he hear you. So whatever you are dealing with and, 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 and uh, whatever you're going through in life, you pray and ask God. When you're at home, when you're by yourself, you pray. You ask God to help you. Okay? Okay. I want to speak to you to encourage you. So now that you've accomplished what you've accomplished this year, you got a summer break. I want you to do good. Stay out of trouble. Stay away from peer pressure. Stay away from the ones that's trying to deter you to do the wrong thing. Uh, be careful what you watch. 
on your phone. Okay, I'm going to say that again. All right, young people, watch what you, don't watch all kind of stuff. Sometimes mom and dad may not be able to watch you. Your niece and nephew may not be able to oversee what you're doing, but you, you're going to be smart enough to know, wait a minute, that's not for me. Okay? Stroll on up to the next thing. Do something else. Find something. Do something that's wise. All right, young people? Y'all hear me? We're going to get the pizza in a little bit. We're going to get the hot dog. It's coming. And the cake and ice cream, whatever they have. But I want to... <laughs> I wanted to make sure I talk with you while you're going through this summer and enjoying yourself, having fun. Think about it. You remember Dejan talked about your goals. Next year, whatever goal, what class I'm going to, I'm going to do better. I'm going to continue what I'm doing. I'm going to do better. All right. I'm going to I'm going to do better. I'm going to do my best. And even if your best is like all I could do to some classes was a C. That's fine. You see your way, but make sure you put forth your best effort, your best effort. And don't blame the teacher. Don't blame the school because that's a cop out. The teacher can be mean as a rattlesnake, but you're not there to get a to be their friend. You're there to get the knowledge that you need to gain from them. OK. Y'all hear me, young people? I'm talking because I hear that sometimes. My teacher's mean. My teacher's mean. She don't like me. She don't go to school for your teacher to like you. You go to learn, all right? So there may be some teachers that are there for different motive, different reasons, just for a paycheck, and, and then they feel like you get on their nerve. That's okay. You go there to learn, okay? Learn, learn. Learn how to, when you're in class, that's to stay focused. Don't let nobody cause you because you, you can miss some things that you need to learn. All right, young people? Okay. So that I want you to learn to finish strong. Finish. Now y'all got a break. You can let your mind relax a little bit and have fun. But when I go back to school, I'm going to do better than I did last year. I'm going to maintain my grade level. I'm going, to, I'm going to do some bigger and better things for whatever you want. And you think about it what you want, and God will help you accomplish it, right? Y'all got who? Y'all got goals and aspirations? You got something, what you want to do? Yeah. Keep that, keep it in your mind. Keep it in your mind. And most of all, keep God ahead. Keep God first. Put God, the Bible tells us to seek, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things the things that you have, your goals, your accomplishments, the things that you desire to do will be added to you because you put him first. All right? Y'all hear me? Good. I am so proud of you all. I want you to finish strong. I want you to do better. I want you to don't, don't try to follow what the other children are doing, the ones that get in trouble and all that. Just because they're doing that don't mean you can do it. All right? My mother and father used to tell me, I don't care if the whole class is acting up, you're going to be the one that's not acting up. Right? 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 Okay. Good. Good. So y'all stay focused. Stay focused and finish strong. And, and then, listen, we got a lot of, we get, you got a lot of, so many examples that's around us. Uh, you got a lot of support around you. Uh, uh. If somebody bully you, you tell the teacher. Teacher don't work, you tell the, the principal. You tell your parents. You tell somebody. If they push you around, bully you, there's a place for them. God can handle them. You don't have to get in trouble, okay? All right? And if you face with a challenge or a subject that's hard, uh, uh, subject matter that's real, no, just don't, don't run from it. You, you try to do the very best that you can. Good. I didn't like English. I like my favorite subject was math. I love math, trigonometry, geometry. That's crazy thinking, though, isn't it? But I loved it. Couldn't care less about history, cause that was his story. <laughs> so don't don't get that. Don't take that. But you you learn. <laughs> you need to learn it. I had to focus. So I wanted to make sure. Yes, this is a Sunday afternoon. I wanted to make sure we celebrate you all. 
We want you to finish strong, uh, to do better. Uh, don't make excuses. Uh, don't make excuses. I don't care if the, the, the people don't like you. You don't go to school to be liked. You go to learn. Hello? Y'all have heard these things before, haven't you? I just want to reiterate it. I want to reiterate it. And how do you get through it? How can you do some things? You can ignore a person that give, give you a hard time. Y'all know how to ignore them? Don't pay them no mind. Don't pay them no attention. You know, keep going. Keep going. They're trying to get you to do some things, try to get you to do some evil things and to mess your life up. Ignore them. They're going to try to do peer. They're going to try to pressure you into doing certain things. When I was in high school, they called me the square, whatever. Uh, they used to call me the square. But today, some of the ones that did any and everything are either dead, in prison, or strung out on drugs. Just buried a good friend of mine a few months ago. Navi Stroman. You remember Navi? He, 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 he smoked all his all our high school life, smoking weed and drinking, and he died. From the cancer ate up his face. He had big warts and stuff in his face from all that drinking, all that smoking. Just destroyed himself. Isn't that sad? He's same, and he was smart, very intelligent. And so I wanted to share these things with y'all because we going y'all gonna do good. Y'all gonna do. Do I have any witnesses in here? Do I have any support in here? Y'all gonna do good. You gonna do good. You are blazing your own trail. You're blazing your own path. So finish strong. Finish strong. Don't worry about those that are running past you. The Bible says, it says the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but I want you to just keep enduring. Am I talking, Mother White? Thank you. Thank you. This is not coming in a hoop or in a holler, but I just wanted to sit down or stand here and let you know that you can finish strong. Paul says it this way. Whatsoever you do, do it wholeheartedly. As unto the Lord, not unto men. Wholeheartedly mean do it, do it with enthusiasm. Do it with excitement. Even if it's a subject you don't like or even if it's something that you don't like, you still have to try to, I, we do everything, I do things I don't like every day. What is that, Pastor John? Go to work. How many enjoy going to work, popping up every morning? Every morning? Oh, y'all ain't been working long enough. You really enjoy getting up in the morning, going to work, excitement all the time? Three or four in the morning? Man, I want some juice, whatever you drinking, man. Life. Good, good. I love that positive attitude. That's good. That's good. You, you need to help encourage me because some mornings I sure don't feel like going to work. I'm going to be straight on. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Do I have any more sick days? I ain't sick, though. I, I might, some day I want to call in Sally's. My wife say, what you going to tell him? I say, I'm sick and tired of working. <laughs> but when I say that, y'all getting a break, but there going to come a time you're going to have to do things that you really don't feel like doing. Right? So what causes you to keep going? Your goals causes you to keep going. Your aspirations causes you to keep going. Your good grades causes you to press come on those certificates those awards if you were to quit you would have never got them right so that's what causes you to keep going to do what's right I know evil is all around us y'all living in a different world than we when, when we were raised and so that's why we, we but you're strong you're strong you all are strong you are strong you are strong and you say, greater is he that's within me. Who is that he? God is with me. That's what you think about. Greater is he that's within me than he that's within the world. The evil things that are around you. All right? So I want you to finish strong. Finish strong. Keep doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Be encouraged. Don't quit. Don't quit. A winner never quits. A quitter 
never wins. Right? Okay, young people? 